a jam-packed start to the Memorial Day weekend on the roads and at the airports. AAA expects this holiday travel weekend to break a 20-year record. Nearly 44 million are traveling at least 50 miles between Thursday and Monday. Highway traffic crawled from coast to coast on Friday, and it was no walk in the park for airline passengers. FlightAware tracked more than 8,000 U.S. flights delayed on Friday. Chris Van Cleve is at Dulles International Airport in Virginia. Chris, good morning. Well, good morning. That severe weather threat is going to hang over the entire weekend. Yesterday, it was Chicago and Dallas that saw a lot of delays. The FAA is watching major cities up and down the East Coast today for disruptions. And while we have seen a lot of cancellations, 17,000 in two days, I'm sorry, a lot of delays, 17,000 in two days, we've seen very few cancellations, less than 1% of the 100,000 scheduled flights. Major gridlock on an L.A. freeway halting the Memorial Day getaway. Shut down for three hours during a police standoff. And those pulling into LAX just found another traffic jam. Brake lights outside. Let's look at this line. And these long lines inside. Line like and it wasn't long. just Los Angeles. TSA line was probably the longest I've ever seen it at Cincinnati. Thursday, the TSA reported its second busiest day ever, screening just shy of 2.9 million with even more expected Friday. TSA Administrator David Pekoski. I'm just banking a little bit more time. In addition to being patient, be kind to other passengers. Holiday travel, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Let's make sure our staffing is up to par. At the FAA's Operations Center outside Washington, it's all hands on deck this weekend as teams monitor the tens of thousands of flights each day and a forecast that includes potentially disruptive weather this weekend. What keeps you up at night? The weather. If the weather's good, I'm happy. Uh, managing volume is easy. Managing the weather is not so easy. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg spoke to Face the Nation's Margaret Brennan. In terms of weather, certainly a number of thunderstorms affecting a number of hubs. Last year, 1.3% uh, cancellations. It was the lowest in a decade. We're pressing the airlines to keep that up. But most Americans, an estimated 38.4 million, will drive. Mary Harrison is road tripping with her husband, her sister, and their five young kids from Georgia to Pennsylvania. We are having to drive through D.C., so we're going to hit some traffic, but we're ready for it. We mentally prepared ourselves. You want to mentally prepare for more traffic on the drive home. AAA expects Sunday and Monday between 3 and 7 p.m. to be the worst on the roads. The TSA expects Monday to be its busiest on the backside of the holiday. But, Jeff, so far we've talked about a lot of delays, not a lot of cancellations, so people are getting where they're going, just maybe a little late. Good news. All right, Chris, thank you.